Well, it's been a good two months since I've uploaded the last episode, and trust me, a lot of stuff has happened. It may not be the biggest haul in the world, but quality over quantity, am I right? Also, um, I decided to do uh, an episode like this again. Uh, I don't remember the last time I actually filmed it in a fixed position in this, you know, in this room with the table here. So I thought to bring this back. It's been a while, and uh, also. If my voice sounds a bit different, uh, I, I just got over, like, the tiniest fever in the world. Like, barely anything happened, and I'm pretty much, like, 99% there, so. Uh, but that's it. Anyways, now that we got that over with, let's get started with the episode. Um, I actually have everything laid out, so I know what to do first and last and all that stuff. Uh, so I guess we'll just start off with some games uh, that I got for really cheap and uh, they're sealed. You know, some of them I'm interested in playing, some of them just interested for them being in the collection, stuff like that. Uh, so the first game that I'll be showing off is uh, Lego Marvel Avengers or Marvel Lego Avengers, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got this for $10, uh, you know, still sealed. Um, so I thought to pick this one up. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing this, but, you know, I mean, at, at $10, I mean, why not, right? The next game that I'll be showing is actually a game that I am intending to play big time. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, believe it or not. And that is, I, don't, I know how to read this right, Lego City Undercover. This is also for just $10. Um, yeah, like I said, I have not played this game yet, and... With there being a Switch version and that being full price, I'm, I'm not going to pay for that. Especially when this became, like, like especially when I saw this. Um, so, yeah, I, I actually never really played this game yet, which is kind of weird. Um, it's pretty strange, I must say. Didn't mean to hit the camera if I did. I mean, that was like the first game, really, to come out for the Wii U after launch to be a really good one. And, I mean, if you guys remember that fiasco. And, yeah, still haven't yet, so this is definitely the time to do it. And, uh, next game I'll be showing off is, well, Lego City Undercover. This is definitely for the collection. And one that I definitely did not expect to see be $10, even though it kind of deserves it, in my opinion is uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Um, I plan to have a sealed collection for the Wii U, uh, so, you know, whatever you're, you can get your hands on. But, um, like I said, in my opinion, it kind of deserves to be $10, just because the game is so bare-bones. Um, I mean, it's not really much of a game then, is it? I don't know. By, by my definition, Ultra Smash isn't really a game. It just doesn't really seem like it. All right, the next thing I'll be showing off is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, I actually got a second one. I didn't know when I would, but as soon as I saw the price tag for this thing... God dang, look at that. $69.99, or $70. Nintendo Switch controllers, I mean, the Switch in general, is just very, very expensive. And usually Nintendo's not about that. Uh, but I, but yeah, I got that for, uh, excuse me, $70, whereas usually they're 100 bucks plus tax, I think. Uh, same thing with the Joy-Con. So I, so that is a very, very good deal. Uh, and speaking of a good deal, um, those red Joy-Con that I showed, I think it was last episode, um, those were actually fifty nine ninety nine, so even better. Uh, I, I don't think I disclosed that information. Uh, and, but yeah, speaking of Switch controllers, uh, I also got the, what is it, Neon Yellow Joy-Con. Uh, wasn't as lucky with this one, as you can see, full price. But um, the, the person I bought it from uh, didn't really do his research early on, so we smartened up. But oh well. My girlfriend got them, not me, so I didn't pay a single dime for those. So it's not really what I've picked up per se, 
But, you know, it's still something that we play with, right? It's still something that uh, both of us share. So, it's nice. Um, next game that I'll be showing off that was actually a very good deal as well was Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Now, I didn't have this game individually, or I didn't have, uh, like, I, I don't have the Prime games by themselves, but the trilogy I do. Uh, and I must have sold Corruption, so I wanted to get this game back as a, you know, as its own copy, obviously. I don't have them individually, but starting with Corruption, I'm getting them back. Um, but yeah, this is $10. This was very cheap. Um, but the condition is outstanding. Uh, I don't really see anything too wrong with it, and even if I do, you know, $10 can't go wrong. And uh, if you open it up here, there's the disc. As you can see, it says register your software. And then behind that, if I can show it or not, uh, it has the, you know, if you like this game, check out those. And then the instruction booklet in the back, which are, uh, are you know, as you saw for a brief moment, which is also in great condition. So, yeah, for $10, you really cannot go wrong with that, so I decided to pick it up. Um, there, were, there was actually another copy of that game that was in good condition for $10 as well. So, I don't know. If it's still there, I'll go back and pick it up. I, I kind of regret getting both. Another thing that I decided to get, you know, just for fun, just because I've never actually owned one of these before and I thought it'd be kind of neat, was actually um, like a Wii GameCube controller. Like, um, like say, for example, if you wanted to play Mario Kart 8 or... I, I think it's like... I mean, I guess uh, 3D World would also count. You can technically play that with a GameCube controller. So, that yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, it's, you know, obviously any game that connects via the Wii Remote, so if you have that down, pretty sure you're good to go. So that's kind of neat. Now I got one more thing left to show, or rather two things, but it's part of the same thing. And this, this right here is my pride and joy. This is something that I've been waiting for for a while. And, uh, you know, I, I waited patiently. I knew I'd get it sooner or later. And, uh, well, I have them now. If I can just get this in the shot here. There we go. So as you can see, uh, well, if, if this goes in focus, there we go. Um, what these are are actually Wii U demo discs. Now, this one, as you can see, says August 2015. And then if I just put that down for a moment, as you can see here, it's also another demo disc. And uh, if you can see that, it says October 2016. So, uh, yeah, not only did I manage to get a demo disc, I actually got myself two of them. And I am very, very ecstatic about this. Like I said, it's something that I've been waiting for for a while. Finally got some, <laughs> not just one, but two. Um, hope to get more in the future. It'd be pretty cool, but as of right now, I'm not complaining. Um, definitely amazing. And, uh, yeah, for the last part of this video, I'm actually going to show the kiosk and actually show it in action now, because I have some discs for them. Or, I have some discs for it, so let's just, uh, move on to the other room. First of all, I guess we're going to be, uh, seeing this. Um... So if you guys remember, right before Nintendo actually pitched this, uh, the, pitched this thing, um, and you know had a EB Game employees, GameStop employees, and you know just a lot of stuff like that, throw these things away. This was the last thing we looked at. Uh, we saw a little compilation. Um, if there's no volume, then well, that's just how it is. Um, I didn't really notice that, you know, just having it in my apartment. Um, I thought it was just the music in Toys R Us and in other stores that just kind of drowned the sound of this out. But that's not the case. This was actually always muted. Um, but yeah, before these things were pitched, this is the last uh, trailer that we saw. Um, if you guys remember this, 
uh, it showed this Yoshi's Woolly World Pokemon Tournament, and yeah, Twilight Princess HD. And then there's a part that I remember that was Smash. Like I always used to look at the kiosk before it left and thinking how sad I was going to be when it was going to be gone. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Um, yeah, there's Yoshi's Woolly World. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it says touch to begin. Some games scrolling by. This thing is complete, folks really excited. I'm so happy. I cannot believe it. I never really thought that this would work a hundred percent, but it did. I got everything, now it's done. I mean, I could probably worry about later stuff, but, you know, like way down the road, but as of right now, it, it's technically a hundred percent complete, actually. Well, not technically, it is. Um, yeah, here's the smash part right here. Oh god, I remember looking at this in stores. This is the most nostalgic part for me, man. I love it so much. Um, yeah, I suppose we should uh, check out this stuff now. Touch to begin. Oh, okay, I guess we're looking at this first. Um, but yeah, the interface is exact. Uh, I know I've been kind of lazy with that part. Accessory controller disconnected. I know someone messaged me about that, and I still haven't done it. Um, I don't exactly know how to fix it. Not yet. Um, but uh, eventually I will. Un unravel the mystery of the island with a new companion named Huey, which was an incredible character. Oh my god, so much better than Kirsty, I gotta say. He's one of the best characters in the, like, in the entire franchise. In my opinion, he just is. Um, but yeah, publisher Nintendo, action adventure, bleh. I mean, it's still a great game, but you know. Controllers, gamepad, yeah, all that stuff. Color splash. October 7th. Um, but yeah, more categories. Uh, and then I guess we can go to, I don't know, I guess technically I should be using this. I don't want to dirty uh, this, this controller. All titles. Oh, look at that. Breath of the Wild. Open your eyes. Remember seeing this at E3? And remember when it was supposed to be a Wii U game? Coming soon. Rating pending. Oh man, that's nostalgic. I mean, already it is, even though it's been a year. Um, that's a weird term, open air adventure. Yeah. Forget everything you know about the Legend of Zelda games. Step into a world of discovery, yeah, all that. Oh my god. This is when they showed more. It was, it was so long. <sighs> Looking back at this, it feels really weird. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll scroll. Open your eyes. I know, I am. I'm gonna open my eyes to this. And, uh,. Paper Mario, as we saw before. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Oh, God. This game was nowhere, by the way. Can I just say that? Plus, on top of that, it was like $85 for like a mini game and it's compilation. Like, I, I'm not going to pay 85 bucks for that. Like, I'm just not. Um. Speaking of $85, why not get a full-on RPG for that price? Like, both of these games were there, and obviously you know which one I picked. So, yeah, that's just crazy. Um, and yeah, if you click video, then it enlarges the entire thing. So, that's kind of cool. Um, and I actually took a break from this game just because there was a puzzle that I couldn't get past and uh, I need to get back to this. Such a great game. Um, what next is there? Oh yeah, Minecraft. Mario 64 music. Oh man. That's so weird. So weird to be hearing that in this. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know. That, that, that's cool, I guess. Um, and yeah, Mario and Sonic was a demo, and uh, Wind Waker HD is actually also a demo, which is pretty cool. I appreciate that a lot. Um, yeah, I, I haven't tried it yet, but I believe it's the E3 demo, like, from, uh, like, in Best Buy. The Wii U experience at, like, 2013, I think. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's, there's just too much to say, folks. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Pikmin 3. I mean, just a lot of great stuff on here. Just a lot of good titles. Pikmin 3. Oh, I remember when I was playing this and something happened. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. I still haven't beaten this. And I feel like crap for it. It deserves it. It's not a long game either. I was told that Pikmin 2 was like the only one that was really a long game. But yeah, it looks gorgeous. And not just the game, but just this interface. It looks so... Oh, I don't even know the word. Like, when would you see this in an apartment? You know what I mean? Or in a house in general. So... And then yeah, you know, uh, Lego City Undercover. All that stuff. Which I said I'm, that I'm gonna play, because I finally have it. And I got a second one for the collection. Sealed, stuff like that, so... Yeah. Um, so that is the Wii U kiosk. It is complete now. Um, definitely satisfied. Uh, I mean, if there's any more that you want to see, uh, just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll try my very best. So, yeah. That was what I picked up, episode 42, I believe. And, yeah, I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy. See you guys next time, folks.